without realizing that they are putting themselves up for a certain case. Okay, come. Okay. The penal code doesn't. For me, you know, with my hashtag is walk the talk. You know, I hope I can bring it by October. We're still looking at the first draft and then we have to bring back to the task force and then go back to the cabinet for approval. But there are great concerns and it's beyond grooming. It's a, a lot about looking into certain acts. I don't think so we want Malaysia to be seen as a country that you know children can be accessible or abused by certain personalities coming into the country. The problem with technology is that you have to wait for it to happen first. So when there's a planning that's going on, which you know the terminology of grooming, the law that we have cannot cover all that action. We learned from our police sources that chat apps are now the number one modus operandi for sexual predators in Malaysia. To find out just how serious this problem is, we created fake accounts on some of the more popular chat apps in Malaysia. Within half an hour, I received over 10 messages, all from men, and the messages kept on coming. This is the very savvy abuse that is going on. I don't want to look just at grooming itself. I want to look at everything that affects young people, especially children. Biologically speaking, the, the human body needs to be doing it at the age of 14, I believe, 14, 15. I'm not the only one that has to make this decision. I hope your publication can also be you know, lobbying a lot of uh, MPs and also ministers to really be very aggressive on this campaign, not only on grooming, but on, 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 on sexual assault on children. No matter how we think differently for politics, you know, we must be united when it comes to children being victimised for sexual assault.